Last month, I was notified that the man who viciously attacked me, who I had to fight to make sure that he was convicted of his crime and he was sentenced in India, has been given bail on his appeal. This man broke into my apartment and attacked me. I fought. I went back to India. I testified. All by myself I had to do this. He was sentenced to serve years in prison. And then, on his appeal, a corrupt judge? No. Who gives him bail? Now, I am told, as my case is going to be taken to the High Court of India, their Supreme Court, you don't give bail to convicted criminals that are sentenced. I come here to the San Francisco Consulate, where I need to have these forms notarized so that the High Court knows who my attorney is and that I am on board. And I am again denied service and assistance from the consulate in India, now San Francisco. They tell me now I need to go get it notarized locally, then go to Sacramento and have that notary verified. India's incredible corruption and lack of support for women that are attacked is continuing and continuing. They refuse to help me, yet they say they want to stop the violence against women in their own country. Yet a simple, a simple verification, a notary like the one I received in New York City at their consulate, I'm being denied here in San Francisco. They tell me I need to go to Sacramento and have a notary verified. They want me to spend thousands of dollars to travel the state of California on my own money because they've let a convicted criminal out on bail? We don't give bail to convicted criminals. So, all of my Daisy friends, I need your help and I need your help now. We're going to take this to the Supreme Court, the High Court of India. You do not let convicted criminals off when their victims were brave enough to go and testify. I need your help. The consulate cannot deny me assistance of a simple notary because I'm required by India to have them notarize it. They refuse to notarize it without making me jump through hoops. Help me, my friends. Reach out, tag, go online. Tell them this is not justice for women. You let me, you let me be denied assistance. I was attacked in my apartment. I flew back to testify alone against this man who attacked me, who threatened me. I had to have armed guards 24 hours when I was there. And now after he's been convicted and sentenced to serve years in prison, a judge has decided to give him bail during his appeal. We are going to the high court, but yet the consulate of India will deny me assistance. They deny me, they want me to jump through hoops. They tell me to go to Sacramento before I bring my papers. These are their documents and they want me to go through the state of California. I need help. I need help because the injustice for women is also administrative. You will not go unknown for this. You will not deny women service. You will do not let us suffer as we continue to be victimized by your bureaucracy. I fought to defend myself. I fought in the courts. I went under the threat of being attacked by this man's family. And we won. We, he was convicted. He was sentenced. And you will have him get bailed from a corrupt system because you refuse to help me. Do not say you defend women's rights and then deny them assistance when they are on the right side of justice. Do not forget, we will not go silently any longer.